right, welcome back, everybody. Tonight, we're starting a new series. We're going to continue the, uh, well, continue our Game of Thrones theme series, and we're going to watch House of the Dragon. Yeah. Everybody's been requesting it, so I'm so excited to see it. Very excited to watch it. <laughs> Uh, I've seen like a couple episodes, but I ain't watched the whole series, so I don't know what's going on. Just about as much as she does, so it might be new to me too. <laughs> I can't time. wait! I can't wait. So this apparently takes place a couple hundred years before the events of Game of Thrones, and it's mainly about the Targaryens and a, a civil war between the Targaryens that took place. It's the story that. Little Shireen was telling Davos, she was reading the book about, was telling Davos about oh, okay. Game of Thrones. The uh, Dance of the Dragons is apparently what this series is about. So, well, let's get, get, get let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Stuttering Jim over here. Let's go. As the first century of the Targaryen dynasty came to a close, the health of the old king was failing. Let's say, what is it all black? <laughs> House Targaryen stood at the height of its strength, with ten adult dragons under its yoke. Ten, ten adult dragons? Yeah. In the year 101, the old king called a great council to choose an heir. Fourteen succession claims were heard, but only two were truly considered. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. Hmm. Declared by all lords paramount that Prince Viserys Targaryen remain Prince of Dragonstone. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Oh, well, we kind of figured it, right? Oh, yeah, we knew that. Jaehaerys called the Great Council to prevent a war being fought over his succession. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself. Hmm. Ain't that the truth? I has to find it. I would not stand. One, two, three, three heads. Oh, okay. 172 years before Daenerys was born. Wow. Okay. Dang, 172 years. The oh, wow. Welcome back, Princess. I trust your ride was pleasant. Mm -hmm. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled, it saves my head from a spike. Go hard, lass. I ought. Okay, they seem a little bit tame. Give them some commands and they're good. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful black horses. Mm hmm. It's a little different. Yeah. A little newer. Mm -hmm. Cleaner. Yeah. Ah, oh, Rhaenyra. You know I don't like you to go flying while I'm in this condition. You don't like me to go flying while you're in any condition. <clears throat> Did you sleep? I slept. How long? I don't need mothering, Rhaenyra. Someone has to attend to you. You will lie in this bed soon enough, Rhaenyra. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle and glory. <laughs> Now like Arya. <laughs> the child bed is our battlefield. Now take a bath, you stink of dragon. <laughs> My lords, the growing alliance among the free cities has taken to styling itself the Triarchy. They have massed on Bloodstone. 
and are presently ridding the stepstones of its pirate infestation. A man called Kragas Drehar has styled himself the Prince Admiral of this triarchy. They call him the Crab Feeder. Rhaenyra, you're late. King's Cup Baron must not be late. I was visiting mother. On Dragonbank? Oh, is that what Arya was? The, um, what's his name? Tyrant? Yeah, Cup Bear. Yeah. yeah. I would urge that you not allow this triarchy much latitude in the Stepstones, Your Grace. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. The Crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. <laughs> who, who are you? Shall we discuss the Heirs' Tournament, Your Grace? I would be delighted. Before the games are over, my son will be born, and the whole realm will celebrate. We have no way of predicting the sex of the child. Of course, no mace is capable of rendering an opinion free of conditions, are they now? Mm. There's mm -hmm. a boy in the Queen's belly. Yeah, yeah, no. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand-wringing to rest himself. He passed through the Red Keep's gates at first light. Does my father know his head? No. Get. Oh, look at that thong. It's all right, sir. <laughs> more swords than <laughs> later on. Sparrow to Rivo Segauma Kepus. No, also demon. Casey knows demi vos magilario chimus. And sin drasma coda brima studor. Cardiba gieri di dem coisa. Que poeua uno sud cotion tradila rota. Cotio trano sit isa. Trano zucho ario sit. I brought you something. No, he's not the one. I was thinking he's the one from um, that movie with the Hobbit. No. Yeah, that's not him. He played Doctor Who. Turn around. About 10 years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, well, he does have blonde hair. You so well. Now, you and I both own a small piece of our ancestry. When Princess Nymeria arrived in Dawn, who did she take to husband? A man. Lord something. <laughs> Answer with Lord something, Septimalo will be furious. She's funny when she's furious. You're always like this when you're worried. Like what? Disagreeable. If you're worried, your father is about to overshadow you with a son. I only worry for my mother. <laughs> I hope for my father that he gets a son. As long as I can recall, it's all he's wanted. You aren't worried about your position. I like this position. It's quite comfortable. What you getting mad for? <laughs> Not really. Is it healing? It has grown slightly, Your Grace. Oh. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Oh, that's probably why I got... <laughs> you got a cut from the... Own swords. What is? Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. We should leech it again, Megan. It's a wound that refuses to heal, Grand Maester. Might I suggest cauterization? It will be painful. Fine. I'm like, how come you didn't come up with it? Debreed it and cauterize it. Yeah, and shake it a few days. Just like. You spend more time in that bath than I do on the throne. This is the only place I can find comfort these days. After this miserable pregnancy, I wouldn't be surprised if I hatched an actual dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been any word from your dear brother? Not since I named him commander of the City Watch. I'm sure he will re-emerge for the tourney. To celebrate the firstborn son that we presently do not have. Hmm. You do understand. But nothing will cause the babe to grow a cock if it does not already possess one. Do <laughs> <You> what? <laughs> not to possess for it to draw a cock if it doesn't already possess uh -huh. one. <laughs> That's going to make it draw, grow a cock. Uh -huh. Uh, if we don't already, and that's true. This is the last time, Viserys. I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. That's five in twice as many years. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir. And I'm sorry if I have failed you in that I am. <laughs> but I've mourned all the dead children I can. When I took command of the watch, you were stray mongrels. Now, 
You're a pack of hounds. You're sated and honed for the hunt. Oh! <laughs> My brother's city has fallen into squalor. Crime of every breed has been allowed to thrive. No longer. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. Hmm. All right, King's Landing. The gold cloaks. What are you beating all these people for? Mm -hmm. Nope. I like the police. <laughs> oh, yeah. The city watch, that's basically why they are police. But why? Brother made a public show of it, meeting out the summary judgments himself. The prince cannot be allowed to act with this kind of unchecked impunity. Hmm. Brother? Damon. Carry on. You were saying something about my impunity. Yeah, you dummy, you... You are to explain your doings with the City Watch. The City Watch is not a sword to be wielded at your whim. They're an extension of the crown. The Watch was enforcing the crown's laws. My prince... I don't Making a public that. spectacle of wanton brutality is hardly in line with our laws. Nobles from every corner of the realm are right now descending upon King's Landing for my brother's tourney. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. We installed Prince Damon as commander to promote law and order. The criminal element should fear the city watch. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. But you've not been seen in the Vale or at Runestone for quite some time. I think my bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife. Oh, no. <laughs> is that dear me? Lord Hightower, if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed, your own lady wife passed recently. Hmm. Did she not? Otto. Perhaps you aren't ready to move on just yet. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you. Must you indulge him? <laughs> Take the bait. <laughs> I don't mind taking the bait, because I'm going to stab you. <laughs> Enforce my laws, but understand. Any further performances like last night's will be answered. Uh, let him answer now. Understood your Because he don't believe you <laughs> let smirk on his face. Yeah. He don't care. He definitely he, don't give a shit what old high says. He probably trying to take what, what he probably trying to take the throne for his seer. King's Landing has been in decline since my grandmother passed. In the end, this new city watch might be a good thing. Mm -mm. <laughs> what the heck they doing? <laughs> of course. They always got one in the group, huh? That red Go through the brothels. What troubles you, my prince? He want the throne. Always jealous one. Always. You are Damon Targaryen, writer of Caraxes, widow of Dark Sister. The king cannot replace you. <laughs> oh, yeah, he can. Oh, yeah, I do you have a little son. Yeah, but if he ain't got no wee wee, you know, ain't okay. nothing. He can't possess the one. <laughs> what you say? When I look at the fine knights in these lists, I see a group without equal in our histories. And this great day has been made more auspicious by the news that I am happy to share. Queen Emma has begun her labors. Has she? I guess. <laughs> Well, if this tourney is a couple of days, they must people must have been in labor for days back then. Lord Jesus, the suffering. <laughs> Damn. Okay. 
Dang. That hurt. Princess Rainy is Targaryen. I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. Mm. Good fortune to you, cousin. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. A Baratheon. <laughs> Go stag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. <laughs> what do you know about the Sir Criston Cole, Sir? I'm told Sir Criston is common born son of Lord Dondarrion's steward, but other than that, and the fact that he's just unhorsed both of the Baratheon lads, I really couldn't say. <laughs> Of the city will now choose his first opponent. What will you have? For his first challenge, Prince Damon Targaryen chooses Sir Gawain Hightower of Old Town, eldest son. Of the hand of the king. Oh, Lord. He <laughs> Must be her friend. He better not kill him. I mean, you can knock him off, but don't kill him. He's so arrogant. Oh, Lord. Oh. oh, that's cheating. Low down scandal. That is a little dirty. Mess up the watch. He's such a cheater. <laughs> Over here. Oh, look. Arrogant. Where they got that young baby on that wig? <laughs> we a little big for her. Yeah. Nicely done, Uncle. Yeah, thank you, Princess. Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it. Hmm. Hey. Good luck, my prince. It's a girl. Did you think it's a girl? Oh, boy. What's happening? The infant is in breach, Your Grace. All attempts to turn the babe have failed. Do something for her! We've given her as much milk of the poppy as we can without risking the child. Everyone, turn that baby! Fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. Well, let's cut that baby out. Oh, I guess they know about that, then. I'm here. I'm here. Turn it. Even hurts the turn. Oh. oh my god. And the day grows ugly. I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Hmm. With wanton violence. Dang god. Their lord sent them to Dang. Yeah. Oh. It's a marvel that war didn't break out at first blood. What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> in the back throwing up. Girl, what you doing? What you doing, you nail? Oh my God. Your grace. Turn that baby. That baby gonna die inside her if y'all don't turn her. She tired. I'm like, shh. Whatever. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. To sacrifice one, to save the... lose them both. There is a chance that we can save the child. 
A technique is taught at the Citadel, which involves cutting directly into the womb mm. to free the infant. That's what I'm talking about. No. Seven house medals. But this is my thing. Y'all know how to cut it out, but do you know how to sew things back up? <laughs> no, apparently not. That's what they're talking about. Sacrifice one, save the other. And what if it ain't no son? You can save the child. We must either act now or leave it with the gods. Sir Kristen Cole will now tilt against a Daemon Targaryen, Prince of the City! What would you do? Well, if I was the king and I'd be in that daggum hard up to have a heir, I'd probably have him cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I would tell him to cut it out. Yeah, that, both of them are going to die. Yeah. I would sacrifice my life for the baby's life. But I ain't no guarantee the baby will live either. Yeah, that's Back true. Back then. That's true. But I'd now, be willing now, to say. That's a common practice, but you know, back then it's like this. But I still would sacrifice my life for that child. Yeah. That's just me. Mm. It is time. It's mm. time. Yeah. Now pushing and pushing a goddamn melon out your butt. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love you. Oh. What's happening? No, it's all right. Well, she don't look like she's willing to sacrifice herself for the baby. It's all right. No, I'm scared of nothing. Don't be scared. What's happening? Don't be scared. Girl, hold her hard and fat. Stronger than that, because. Mm. Nah, I can't watch this. I always have when I see it, always on the other end of it, you know, with the head. No, 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 He come pick himself up with all that dog on. Are you trying to help you? So Prince Damon <sighs> to continue in a contest of arms. Who is this boy? <laughs> like a ladybug, a shield. <laughs> Jesus. You know, I didn't realize when I said that sacrifice. <laughs> I'm no anesthesia. But she had the poppy seed. What? Yeah, the, well, apparently the, it didn't the help her much. Well, one, they don't know how to do it. They did it straight. Yeah. Now they she, she did. She's gonna be mad at him. You kill my mother for this boy. If it's a boy, you hear me? Ooh. He's a barbarian anyway. Mm -mm. Yield. Yield. Nope. He ain't gonna yell. He gonna cut you, baby. He gonna cut you. He dirty. He dirty. I don't trust him yet. Who, Damon? Yeah. Oh, the Targaryen guy? Yeah. What is a girl, boy? The gods. He's Dornish. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Oh, she locked, Sir Kristen. Princess. Mm -mm. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have a son. Oh. It's a boy. A new heir, Your Grace. The sister gonna be mad at that baby. 
Had you and the Queen chosen a name? Bail. Mm, you see the little. Mm -mm. Your mama dead. Girl, your mama dead. Your daddy did it. I mean, but hey, you got a brother out of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, wow. Hmm. I guess the baby didn't make it either. No, you know, he was up there choking while that man was holding him. They're waiting for you. Look at her. Why is she looking all happy? All you do to bury your toilet, Johan lies. Tresi Dori Kesan. Hmm. Wow, both of them. That baby was over there choking, you hear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he just looking at him. Boy, I'll tell you one thing. He be out there getting lit. Because that baby didn't have to die. Tricaris. <laughs> Huh? Hmm. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Made that sacrifice and lost both of them. I tell you one thing. That that. Where's Rhaenyra? Your Grace, this is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour. But I consider the matter urgent. What matter? That of your succession. These. Recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. The king has an heir. He be dead. I'm telling. The succession is already set. By precedent and by law. Shall we say his name? Daemon Targaryen. If Daemon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. The realm? Or this council? Look at what he did with the gold cloaks. <laughs> Putting Daemon in command of the City Watch was your solution. A half measure, your grace. The truth is, Damon should be far away from this court. Damon is my brother, my blood, and he will have his place at my court. Let him keep his place at court, your grace. But if the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident... What are you saying? My brother would murder me. Take my crown. Are you? Please. <laughs> You're right there. Under such circumstances, it would not be an aberration for the king to name a successor. Well, who else would have a claim? The king's firstborn child. Rhaenyra. A girl. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. That is only by tradition and precedence, Lord If Strong. order and stability... <coughs> Daemon would be a second Magor, or worse. It is the duty of this council to protect the king and the realm from him. I will not be made to choose. Between my brother and my daughter. Agree on an heir, then how can we my expect wife a ransom? My son are dead! Hmm. And y'all sit up here bigger. Here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses! Exactly. Let me mourn the wife, my wife and my son. That's a sneaky little fucker right there. Who, him? Yeah. Why you call him sneaky? No, he just seems like he... He's looking out for the ram. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's why I look at it. It's, uh, you, to, it's you have to, to make hard no, decisions. He's trying to divide the king against his brother and shit. Well, Damien is not the right one. I mean, and you saw that when hey, killing people out of the know. streets. My darling, how's Rhaenyra? She lost her mother. The queen was well loved by all. I found myself thinking of your own mother today. How is his grace? Very low. Which is why I sent for you. I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. Oh, sneaky fucker. In his chambers. Girl, I mean, <laughs> sir. Stop that. 
He'll be glad of a visitor. Not her. Not your child. What, he trying to get her impregnated by the king? Might wear one of your mother's dresses. Wow. You fuck her. It's low down. The Lady Alison Hightower, Your Grace. And she do. What is it, Alison? I thought I might come and look in on you, Your Grace. It's very kind. Thank you. Say his daughter, his wife just died. And you sent her there to secure your seat? <laughs> people are. When my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. You do spend more time in the brothel than Tyrion did. The king is so there once again. Quiet! The prince will speak! Before we begin, Your Grace, I have a report I feel compelled to share. Last night, Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. King and council have long rued my position as next in line for the throne. But dream and pray as they all might, it seems I'm not so easily replaced. The gods give just as the gods take away. He toasted Prince Balon to the king's son, styling him the heir for a day. Hmm. I corroborated this report with three separate witnesses. The evening was, by all accounts, a celebration. Mm. You cut the image of the Conqueror, brother. Did you say it? I don't know what you mean. You will address me as your grace, or I will have my king's guard cut out your tongue. Mm. The heir for a day. Did you say it? Now you can't trust the people you're around. Listen. Okay. Thank you. We will mourn in our own way, Your Grace. My family has just been destroyed. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your whores and your leg spittles. <laughs> you have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you. Yet everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. <laughs> and the blood of the dragon runs thick. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. A second son who stands to inherit nothing he doesn't seize for himself. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. You're weak, Viserys. Ooh. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. Not anymore. Mm. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. And you are to do so without quarrel, by order of your king. Well. I guess you shouldn't have did that. I'm out of his son. I told you that fucker's always trying to like, trying to like get some cut friction it, in between look, them. Cut itself again. You better double them daggum swords on this. I wonder if somebody putting poison or something on there. I mean, because of, well, you know, I guess they ain't cleaning it. That that big old head. Mm -hmm. He cauterized it. <laughs> he cauterized his hair. Father. Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? You haven't spoken a word to me since Mother's funeral. And now you've seen your king's guard down. Answer me. It's important. What do you see? I suppose I see us. Tell me. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men. But they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. They're a power men should never have trifled with. When they brought Valeria, it's doom. If we don't mind our own histories, it will do the same to us. Targaryen must understand this to be king or queen. Damon is your heir. Damon was not made to wear the crown, but I believe that you were. I call this Valerian, Lord of the Tides and Master of Driftmark. Promise to be faithful to King Viserys 
and his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that's the best time you come to. Dragon Saddle is one thing, but the Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. And his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Hmm. She looked bitter over there. <laughs> There's something else that I need to tell you. Our histories. They tell us that Egon looked across the Blackwater from Dragonstone, saw a rich land ripe for the capture. But ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. It was a dream. And just as Danis foresaw the end of Valyria, Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. Just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. Egon <laughs> saw absolute darkness riding on those winds. And whatever dwells within, Will destroy the world of the living. When this great winter comes, Runera, all of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. Hmm. Okay. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. This secret, it's been passed from king to heir since Aegon's time. Now you must promise to carry it and protect it. Hmm. I. Sarah's Targaryen, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. I had to get different types, different types of dragons. Yeah, that's all right. I look like a big old lizard, flying lizard. <laughs> Princess of Dragonstone, and heir to the Iron Throne. Well, he didn't want her to be because he think he can manipulate her, huh? Her friend, Alicet, father. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that, that was, is yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, I like said, yes, I would sacrifice myself. Yeah. For the baby, but that dog on doctor over there. He should have been blo he should have been caught on fire too, because he didn't do what he's supposed to do. That baby was choking. <laughs> To give that, that baby to the midwives real quick. Yeah. He, still, he don't seem like he know what the hell he's doing anyway. Cause well, he, he got that young kid doing all the suggesting. He just sitting there like. Well, I don't think they read like they supposed to read. Cause in Game of Thrones, what's his name? Oh, Sam. He just loved reading. Yeah. And by reading, that gives you ideas. Yeah. Uh, knowledge and how to be innovative to to solve a problem. But that man, it, and then he was like, the oh. brother Damon, he was like, well, we all grieve in our own ways. Uh, no, you should have said that, but lesson learned. Somebody in your circle, if it said three witnesses said this. Oh, yeah, well. Somebody in your circle, uh, even the little brothel, the little, the, the whores. Yeah, Somebody said one of the one of the whores from the brothel. Hey, well, hey, if they ain't getting paid enough, they're gonna run their mouth. If you're gonna pay me, but yeah. then again, they could lie. But they didn't and that lie. Old fucking high tower man. I don't trust him as far as I can spit. He, well, I cannot believe he sent his daughter to, to. I mean, like for real, to comfort him. Yeah, comfort. <laughs> Well, that don't mean nothing happened because it doesn't show it. You know, that doesn't mean anything happened. But at the same time, I'm hoping he didn't take the bait. I'm just, I'm hoping he didn't, you know. Because if that, if he did, then that's going to cause a rift between Alicet and, what's the girl name? Renera, I think. Venera. Renera. That's going to cause a rift between them two. I hope he didn't. I hope he had some sense and not do that, you know. I hope, but you know, y'all men, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a little arousal. I don't yeah, think he ready was to in, go. I don't think he was in the mood for anything that time. Well, but this is good. I'm excited about this. I I really am. It it, it carries on and it lets me find out how we get to Daenerys. Yeah, a little bit of history of the yeah. realm and stuff. Yeah, so he had some familiar names show up. And had the Baratheon show up. And yeah, saw the Stark guy. At the end. Yes, the Stark and the Baratheon. And then, um, we didn't have any high towers and 
Game of Thrones, but they're from Old Town, where the Citadel is, where Sam went. Yeah, study. that's yeah. where that's where they're from. Well, I'm excited about this. Then, I'm excited to see how it goes. And yeah, aren't you? I yeah, am. I'm, I'm, I really am. Yeah, I really am. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's as good as Game of Thrones. It looks good. The first episode was really good. Yeah. Now, sometimes when we get into it, stuff be dragging out slow. And I'm like, some slow episodes here and there. I don't know. It's hard to see. Got to get the story in. Yeah, but I'm sure there's some action here and there. This is good. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a good show. So. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for joining me on, us on this journey of House of the Dragons, dragon. the House of Dragons. Hot D, as people yeah. call it. <laughs> if you like this episode, hit the like button. And if you um, haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time. Bye bye.